ladies and gentlemen, these two men that you see up front were judges. And they were part of a scheme that jailed children for profit. I don't have to tell you which children. I don't believe I do. So two former Pennsylvania judges who orchestrated a scheme to send children for profit, jails in exchange for kickbacks, were ordered to pay more than $200 million to hundreds of people they victimized in one of the worst judicial scandals in U.S. history. No, they, you know, yeah, they should pay the money, but how about jail time? How about jail time? Why is that off the table? U.S. District Judge Christopher Connor awarded $106 million in compensatory damages and $100 million in punitive damages. Nearly 300 people in a long-running civil suit against judges writing the plaintiffs as the tragic human casualties of a scandal of epic proportion. It what came to known as the Kids for Cash scandal. You know, it's a disgrace. These men destroyed the lives of children by running a scam from the bench. See, this is why I used to laugh when these folks would say, oh, let the system work. Your system never worked. Your system has always been a very racist system. Your system jails innocent people. The exoneration shows you that. You know, at one point in time, I used to believe all that stuff until I started taking a closer look. And ladies and gentlemen, right now, I really believe more innocent people are in jail than people that committed actual crimes. And this is another example of why I believe that on top of the exonerations that we see nearly every day in America. This is more proof that judges sit on the bench. They abuse their power and they abuse the power by putting innocent people in jail for profit. They know you're going to be sitting in there doing all that prison work and everything. And they don't care that you're innocent. Just get the work done. We got to make our money. Okay, so Mark Cia Varela and the other judge, Michael Conahan, shut down a county-run juvenile detention center and accepted $2.8 million in illegal payments from the builder and co-owner of two for-profit lockups. So they were helping the owners of the juvenile detention fill up the cells and they were getting paid to do this. So a lot of innocent children, underage children, went to jail because you have some scumbags sitting on the bench. Yeah, y'all, I, I really believe most people in jail are folks that are poor. They don't have money to fight the system and they get stuck in there and they know this. Trust me, these weren't no kids from wealthy families. These were children from families that probably were disadvantaged. So. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, what came to be known as um, Kids for Cash. So Cia Varela, who presided over juvenile court, pushed a zero tolerance policy. Yeah, because he was getting paid for every child he put behind bars. Not because they're bad children and did something bad. 
he had to make his money, his kickback money for putting them in there. So of course he would run a no tolerance kind of court. He was getting paid. So he had that policy that guaranteed large numbers of kids would be sent to PA Child Care and its sister facility, Western PA Child Care. <sighs> My heart goes out to the children that had to endure this. These men belong in jail. They should not be getting a fine to pay. Yeah, they should get that in addition to jail time. Cia Varelli, I'm sorry, Cia Varela ordered children as young as eight to detention. Many of them first time offenders deem delinquent for petty theft, jaywalking, truancy, smoking on school grounds and other minor infractions. You put children in jail for those reasons? Are you freaking kidding me? They'll put a child in jail, but they when a school shooting is going down, they won't go in there because they're scared. But they'll grab up and throw a child behind bars over jaywalking, smoking, Truancy? Wow. Judges often offered youth he had found delinquent to be immediately shackled, handcuffed, and taken away without giving any chance to put up a defense or even say goodbye to their families. Now that is just straight up cruel. That is straight up cruel. C. Varela and Conahan abandoned their oath and breached the public trust, Connor wrote Tuesday in his explanation of the judgment. Their cruel and despicable actions victimized a vulnerable population of young people, many whom were suffering from emotional issues and mental health concerns. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court threw out some 4,000 juvenile convictions involving more than 2,300 kids after the scheme was uncovered. That is a disgrace. 4,000 juvenile convictions thrown out because of these two judges? We got every right not to trust you. We got every right not to believe you. We got every right not to trust your judgment sitting on the bench. We have every right not to trust your system. It is unlikely the now adult victims will even see a fraction of the eye-popping damages awards. But the lawyers for the plaintiff says it is a recognition of the disgraced judges. No, that's not good enough. You need to compensate everybody. I don't care if those children are adults now. They might have went in the system under age, but they are adults now. They need to be compensated too. Uh-uh, that's no excuse for that. You know, what happened was not their fault. They should be compensated. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay, um, Sia Varela is 72 years old. Mm -mm -mm. Conahan is 70 years old. These men are, what? they're senior citizens. They need to go somewhere and sit down and get off the bench anyway. Sitting on a bench, running the shit like Jim Crow. So anyway, um, Sia Varela, he is serving a 28-year sentence in Kentucky. 
his projected release is 2035. Hopefully he will make it out in a body bag. For I sure hope so. Conahan, 70, he was sentenced to 17 years in prison, but was released to home confinement in 2020 with six years left on his sentence because of the pandemic. I don't feel sorry for either one of these men. Wow, look at the damage they have caused to people. Connor ruled after hearing often emotional testimony last year from 282 people who appeared in Luzerne County Juvenile Court between 2003 and 2008, 79 of whom were under the age of 13. When Sia Varela sent them to juvenile detention and 32 parents. They recounted his harsh, arbitrary nature, his uh, disdain for due process and his extraordinary abruptness and his cavalier and brutish behavior in the courtroom, Connor wrote. One unnamed child victim testified that Sia Varela had ruined my life and just didn't let me get to my future, according to Connor's ruling. Another plaintiff said, I feel I was just told, um, you know, he said he feels like when he was in the courtroom, he was sold out for no reason. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Another victim described how he shook uncontrollably during a routine traffic stop, a consequence of traumatizing impact of his childhood detention and had showed his mental health records in court to explain my behavior and why it was so erratic. Several of the children victims were part of a lawsuit that began in 2009 have since died from overdoses or suicides, Connor said. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. So that's a shame. One child even showed their mental health records in court and he disregarded the whole thing. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm glad they did get prison time, but it, you know... <laughs> These lives are ruined for good. These kids are never going to be the same. Being detained like that for no reason. Because you got two crooked judges sitting on a bench. You trust me. They got courtrooms filled with these corrupt judges all over this country. You know, we always talk about the police officers and what they do. But these prosecutors and judges, they are just as crooked. These state uh, uh, attorney generals, all of these people, they're all crooked. The whole system is corrupt. You can't find no righteousness in this corrupt system. My heart goes out to these children and their families and everything they had to go through because these judges wanted to make some side money at the expense of these young children for these little petty little offenses, just throwing them away in jail and with no regard. How would he like of the children in his family, his grandchildren? Because these men, what, 70 and 72, probably got grandchildren and great grandchildren. How, how would you like if they get thrown head first in jail for the reasons they sat on the bench and, and gave these other children? I hope they never have another moment of peace. I hope everywhere these men go, if they happen to get out, they are reminded of what they've done. Y'all, mm, mm, mm. it's a shame. You can't give those children back what they lost all that time away from their families. You can't get that back. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story.
please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.